Hello everybody, my name is Mark Sladek and I'm from Aibale. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to work with our IEC 61850 engineering tool. We will answer the question how you can export a CID file, how you can adjust the ID name, and I will give you a short overview of the SCR config. Let's get started. Here on my screen, the Win config is running. I created for our video today a IEC 61850 edition 2 file. When I open the advanced settings, navigate to the SCADA settings, I can directly open the SCL config. To do so, click on advanced engineering tool. Now the window opens with the SCL config. The SCL config is a standalone program. First of all, I want to give you a short overview of the available menus. In common settings, you can enter the ID name. Today, I will enter recti A. Confirm with OK. And the ID name is changed. The next sidecard menu is for reviewing the MMS server settings. The whole structure is defined by the IEC 61850. You see just one logical device as we have just one voltage regulator application. The logical device contains several logical nodes, like the ATCC1 or the GGIO1 for the binary inputs. Inside each logical node, you find several sections. Let's begin with the report control block. On the right side, you can apply given settings. Here, you can select the data set. In data sets, you can define a set of data objects to be reported by the device. With the plus button, you add the data objects and they are attributes. Here you see the data objects with their data attributes. To conclude, usually all standard commands and indications of the regulator are provided with the default settings. It is not recommended to apply changes here. This functionality is reserved for IEBLE professionals. The next three menus are for adjusting the IEC 61850 client function, the incoming gooses and the outgoing gooses. If you need help with adjusting those parameters, reach out to our support department. To integrate the IED data structure to your SCADA system, you need a CID file. To convert the ICD file into a CID file, we use the menu Files. The now appear dialog is for adding parameters to the CID file, such as the IP address and the subnet mask. The ID name is already successfully copied. The other predefined values are reasonable and should not be changed. Now we are finished and can proceed with saving to a CID file. In the file menu, we can also import the ICD file from an SCD file or export the data objects to an Excel spreadsheet. Lastly, you can exit the SCL config with saving the settings you entered or not. Today, we save the settings and exit. Now we are back in the Win config and our ICD file is adjusted, imported in the Win config. That's it for today. I hope you liked our video. Today, you learned how to access the SCL config, how to export the ICD file as a CID file, and you learned how to navigate through the SCL config. Thank you for your attention and see you next time at Aevalea Academy.